am Xavier Fox and I am here introducing a new web series for you guys. I know you're going to enjoy it because we are going to talk about dating across the country. So as you know, I travel quite a bit and I wind up in places and I'm always talking to people, you know. If you actually know me, you know I talk a lot. If you don't know me, you probably know I talk a lot because I've been doing shows forever. So, this web series is called Where in the World is Xavier Fox? And as I go across the country, I'm going to interview people on dating in their area. Today, I am talking to some folks in the DMV about dating in the DMV. Now, I know we've all heard about dating in the DMV. You know, you may know some guys from the DMV. <clears throat> And you know, I've heard about, <laughs> about women in the DMV as well. But one of the things that I wanted to kind of bust this myth or fallacy is about this 15 to 1. Sorry, fellas, it is not 15 to 1. Please go to your local census, www.gov, <laughs> okay? Anyway, today I'm here with two of my single friends in the DMV, and I'm going to get their input on... Uh, What's really going on here? <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with our male participant today. Hello, uh, my name is Earl Wyatt. I, I host a radio show called Spike Fish Radio, uh, where we like talking about like, social dynamics. We like talking about politics. Oh, yeah, I did your show once. Yes, you did. Uh -huh. We'll come back to that. Yeah, yeah, we'll come back to that. <laughs> um, but dating is a number. It's pretty much what everybody wants to talk about on some level, and so we talk about that in the show. <laughs> I've talked about it with, with Xavier off the record before, so it's kind of interesting to start, ha see what happens when we get a chance to talk on the record. So what I want to know, yeah. um, Earl, okay, first, he did a really great uh, prelude, but I'll tell them, okay, you said who you are, where you're from, yeah. are you single? I am single. Okay, children? As in, as in not married, yeah. No. Uh, as in not married, so you have a woman tucked somewhere? Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Um, <laughs> not tucked away. We're not going to get him on camera. He's not going to get him on camera. Yeah. Like, this is a man from the DMV. This is why we're having this conversation. Typical man comment from the DMV. So, yes, I'm currently not married. I have zero children. Um, and I'm, I'm in my late 30s. Okay. So, what's been your experience? Do you, uh, I've heard about this 15 to 1 ratio. What is your experience as a single man okay. in the DMV? First things first, um, people in D.C. have a tendency to exaggerate, so everybody will say it's 15 to 1, but let's be honest, as long as it's over 2 or 3 to 1, it's still, it's still candy land. I mean, I don't know if it's ever going to be a bad situation. Well, you do Poor know man. that the census says it's like 1.2. Really? Yeah, it's really not even 2 to 1. Then I'm taking a few other guys' shares with me, so oh, it's okay. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I mean, again, just an exaggeration. Um, but at the end of the day, no, I think... In this area, the difference isn't the number of women to men. It's the number of women who will take any man versus the number of men who are oh. as particular, who are far more particular in that situation. Okay, that's Does that interesting. Make sense? That's interesting. Okay. We'll get to that later. Wait, hold on. What, what, what I, I mean I, by that is, is that, and, and we're going to probably have a longer conversation, but recently we've we've all been part of a discussion mm -hmm. where I said that women are more likely to look for a man. Mm -hmm. And men aren't looking for one. Right. But we're excited right. when we find one. Right. And we're all about them. Right. But if you're going to meet a guy who's single, very rarely is that guy going, you know what? I need to find me a good woman. He's Absolutely. like, I'll talk to the women I find myself attracted to. And if right. she turns out to be good, mm -hmm. right. I'm a high five oh, right. my friends. Right. And happy. women don't really do it that way. So tell me this. Yeah. All right. Come on, son. Okay. <laughs> what I want to know is what is your, because I've heard a lot about mm -hmm. male and female in the DMV. Right. Right. And, you know, I've heard those. First off, you can't use the word female in D.C. <laughs> go off. Like, I've heard the women in D.C. are yeah. so a handful. So what is your impression of the women? What is your experience? With the, what's your impression of the women in the DMV? Okay. Um, I'm going to try not to give too short an answer, but, but make sure we get to a point. Uh, in D.C., we don't really build anything. We don't manufacture anything. So as a result, everybody in this city is really as talented at moving something from their inbox to their outbox which means the women you're going to find here are going to be smarter per square mile than a lot of other places in the country. Mm -hmm. Women are going to, they're going to feel like they have to add strategy to everything they do, whether it's getting their lawn watered to, you know, figure <laughs> out what's, what's the best time to hit the DMV. Women here are constant. Nobody's, women and men, nobody here just does the thing. Everybody has to do the thing with a strategy, with an angle, with a game plan, trying to get everything done. So, 
when it comes to dating. If a guy says, hey, I'm just hanging out with my boys, a woman here isn't going to accept that as an answer unless um, she's vetted that idea. I'm not, it's an exaggeration, but it's also like a for instance, it's a hypothetical. <laughs> I wasn't um, to say anything. Yeah, you were. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the point of the matter is that here, there's, the answer is never the answer for most people. It, there's always got to be a couple extra, a couple layers of thought. And I've found that if you're a man who's not intimidated by that, it's a great area to be in. If you're a guy who just wants to live a simple life, meet a girl, go home, and hang out with your mom, this probably ain't your town. <laughs> so <laughs> what I'm hearing him say is that the women here are full of game. <laughs> you know, I got a little Chicago in me, so we just want to break this down. Because somebody told me I need to start getting a little of that in there, so I thought I'd get it in there then. Now, um, I'm going to bring a woman from the DMV in on this. So now we, so you're full of game, huh? Yeah, uh, well, said it, not me. Let's introduce you first. So tell everybody who you are. Hi, I'm Nicole um, Williams, and I've lived in the DMV most of my adult life. And I am single and childless as well. And my take on the whole man-woman thing is similar to Earl's in that a lot of people here are doing very well. And it's not just the women. If you go to other parts of the country, you kind of always hear about women doing well. But the men are actually doing very well here as well. So everyone has their government job. Everyone has their clearance. So in essence, you have all of these really good catches running around, not trying to get caught. So I think that is kind of what is interesting about our dynamic here. Because everyone is such a good catch, they don't necessarily want to get caught. Okay, that's a great one. that actually is a good way to put it. Mm -hmm. So that that kind of sums up what you think of the men as well. So they yes. they are good catches. So uh, this fifteen to mm -hmm. one thing, are you experiencing mm -hmm. the fifteen women to one man? Is there mm -hmm. a shortage? Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Um, well, I do feel like when I go out there, like you said, there are always a lot of men there. However, to me, it appears as though there's still more women than men. So at the ratio is probably not 15 to 1, but instead of it being 1.2, maybe it's 2.5 to 1 to me. Um, however, like I said, in, on paper, the guys are great. I mean, I've never had a problem meeting a man that's a professional. I've never had a problem meeting a man that didn't have a car or a house. A lot of them in really? here... Yeah, I mean, all of them in here own property. A lot of the ones that I meet, they own property. They it have like we need to give some of those to the Midwest because <laughs> yes. they're... No, so that's the norm. Do yes. they wear tennis shoes? All that's the, time? the norm. Um, not all the time, no. They were no. So yes, that's the difference. You know, I they're just suited and booted. Shoe thing. Yeah, they're suited and booted here. So the men are well put together on paper again, and okay. I think they know that. And we so do. for them, for them, it's almost like they don't have to settle down at a particular time period. Um, you know, as women sometimes. So if do. you could change something about mm -hmm. the men here in the DMV, what is it that you would change? I, the only thing I would just I would change is just humility. Um, obviously, I want a man that is well put together and has his thing, his self, his self together. However, there still needs to be some room to be humble. I, you know, I have countless guy friends, and their favorite lines to me is, Nicole, I'm a good catch, I'm a good catch. And these are men telling me that. And I'm just like, okay, so where's room for a woman if you're such the good catch, you know? So, yes, all I would add is all I need the brothers here to have is a little bit more humility. And so, you keep looking at me. Oh, like, so I, you know, for you, girl, girl what, would, what is one thing that you would change about the women? What would make the women more inviting or make a man want to settle down more with one, a woman from the DM? Because you already said they were full of game. <laughs> yeah, and I, but I didn't complain about that necessarily. No, you didn't necessarily complain about it, but it's apparently there's enough to it that uh, yeah. it, you, it, made, it made the show. <laughs> um, Honestly, I don't have a complaint or something I want to change. I, do, I, I don't. And, and one of the reasons why is because at the end of the day, you can make yourself more attractive to the point of dating, but you can't make yourself more attractive to anybody for the purpose of marriage beyond that. Like That's true. You know what I mean? Like That has to be something someone sees specifically. They have to see specifically each other to make that happen. And I think with a lot of women who are looking to get married, uh, I'll, I'll I personally believe that's the wrong approach to doing anything. It is, so, it is. Like to, you know, if it's a one in one million shot, it's supposed to be a one in one million shot. I don't want to, I don't want to have a sign out there that says, hey, you know what, tell Earl you like his shoes, tell him you like that tie, 
tell him what time you get off work and that's all you need to do and now Earl's on your train. Like, I don't want to be that dude who could easily be that sold. So I don't think a woman should want that either. I think I agree. should, you know, definitely don't do things that make it complicated. Okay. But, you know... You so know. do you mind if I dig just a tad bit deeper? Because you know you and I, no, you, still you and I talk <laughs> about, we talk all the time you anyway. Do, do. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, to Dating in the DMV. And make sure you check me out as I continue to go from state to state and city to city, talking to all the single people about dating in their area. You can follow me on Facebook at Xavier Fox. And I am on YouTube as X Fox on the Box. That's all one word, lowercase. So until next time, peace. <laughs>